What's up guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life. Thank you so much for joining me for another Two Minute Tuesday where I try to give you guys a bite-sized devotion to kick your week off right. So let's get started. I totally missed. So my daughter, she'll be two years old at the end of April and we have these little baby gates all through our house just in case you have to go to the bathroom, you can't make it. That is their entire purpose, I'm pretty sure, because she can open them. So it makes no sense why we still have at least one of them up because it has a it has a little pull-up latch and she can open it, but it, it does take her a little bit of like, she has to put her hand through into this side and this side and, and lift it up and it takes some finagling on her part. And, and yesterday I was in the kitchen cooking and she was trying to come in there to me. I heard her just get all mad and start crying and so I, I look around the corner and she's at the gate and I'm, she can open this gate, I know she can. But I look and she has this uh, mini, mini mouse doll in her arm and she's trying to get into the gate, right? And, and she can't do it because she only has one hand and, and and she hasn't been able, she can't do it with one hand like we can. She has to use both hands. So she has mini in her arms and she can't get in the gate because she has mini in her arms. And I, I simply told her if you would put mini down just for a moment, you could open the gate and you'd be fine. She of course is two years old and didn't listen to me. But my point is that for so many of us, we can't take that next step with Jesus, right? We can't, we can't walk through that metaphorical gate with Jesus because we are still clinging to something. There's still some sort of sin or some sort of temptation in our own life that we can't let go of. It has simply consumed us and it is holding us back. And if we could simply let it go and cast it aside, we could take that next step. We could experience that gate, we could move forward, but so often we're like, well, I don't hear God and I don't feel God, but we're just, we're clinging to something we don't need to be clinging to anymore. And that is holding us back and stopping us from moving forward. So I want to say to you today, drop that anchor, drop that boulder, drop that thing that is holding you down, whatever it is that you are clinging to and it's holding you back, let it go. I hope that encouraged you today that if you're struggling with that next step or with that next move, ask yourself, is there a sin or a temptation or a relationship or, or, or is there just something in this world I'm clinging to? Is it holding me back? I hope that encouraged you, I hope it spoke to you. If so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I release videos just like this every single Tuesday and a longer devotion every single Friday. Guys, I hope you have a blessed week. Keep living that bold life.